Every Man Project is a body positivity initiative that encourages body diversity in the fashion industry and actually all industries in the entertainment sector as well as strong in that sense means being stoic means being emotionless and that's not real we are all <laughs> all right so obviously if you guys did not notice the emasculine emasculation agenda is being pushed heavily this agenda is really being pushed by the mainstream right it wants men to be weak docile stagnant and subordinate okay and before i start this video i'm not saying men are freaking robots i'm not saying we're emotionless and we i am alpha i am the ultimate masculine alpha i'm not saying we like that at all right there's levels to this and i'm gonna get right into it this is Tarek talks i am Tarek. i'm gonna be talking my stuff and i'm glad you guys could have joined me all right so check me out yeah this whole i mean as we saw in in that video i'm sorry you guys had to see that <laughs> you know what i'm saying but that young person right he's just one of many tools that the mainstream tries to use to push this effeminate ideology upon men right and another disclaimer this is by no way bashing people that like the same gender right people that are pay now i changed the word p i changed the word g with the word p right g people nothing against them at all that's their preference but what this video is about is the incessant and deliberate emasculation emasculation of men man i keep tripping over that word it is trying to push this narrative to men that they can be weak docile subordinate right and pretty much be this weak and docile man and this is okay right like i said we all have feelings fellas we all been hurt we all been sad we all been happy we've all felt pain we've all felt terror right we feel a wide array of emotions we are not robots but for the most part masculinity is somewhat an underlying aggression and this is taken to the negatives right aggression is something that is positive as well see what this agenda is trying to do is it's trying to take masculization masculinity as a whole and make everything about it negative of course there's negatives in anything anything could be toxic water can be toxic did y'all know there's some such thing as water poisoning Yes, if you drink too much water, you will get water poisoning. But water is one of the most healthiest substances for your body, for the earth, period, right? Fire. You can either cook a, a mean ass steak or asparagus for my vegans, right? Or you could burn a house down, right? It, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It just depends, right? Same thing with masculinity. Masculinity is a beautiful thing. It has what it is what has carried civilizations throughout time right it's what carried decades and decades of architecture technology astronomy mathematics you name it and yes femininity is a beautiful thing too there's nothing more beautiful than a nurturing fem a nurturing divine feminine right they call it divine feminine and the young lady is in her or her feminine state too that is a beautiful thing just just as much as masculinity right but in today's society like i said masculinity is demonized and unfortunately a lot of times this starts within the home a lot of young men do not have a father figure around the house so who do they get their influence from from their mama okay and a lot of the times their mama has a low uh view of men herself right so she's probably going to do things inadvertently to make it seem like being a man is bad okay she's and on top of that these young men don't have a solid figure to to, to look up to so what do they see they see things like that video right there they see things like that young uh person you feel me i don't want to misgender him misgender that person or mispronoun that person you dig what i'm saying but they see that right there and he talking about 
body positivity, right? And what they show, what do they show with body positivity? Overweight, obese people. Let me tell y'all something, man. There is nothing positive about being overweight. There's nothing positive about diabetes. There's nothing positive about high blood pressure. There is nothing positive about cholesterol, heart attack, stroke. Those things are not positive. And my pops, rest his soul, a beautiful man, right? Bless, bless his, Allah bless his soul in the heavens. He was overweight. He had he all those problems that I just said, high blood pressure, diabetes. You feel what I'm saying? He had all of that. He was clinically obese. Okay? So there's nothing positive about men being sloth, right? I I don't really read the Bible. I'm not Christian, but it does have a lot of truth to it. It does mention being a sloth in there. That's a sin, being a sloth. What being a sloth is basically is being overweight docile, weak, exactly what that person in, in, in the beginning of the video is describing, right? That is not in masculine nature. See, masculinity is a beautiful thing. Masculinity is active. It is active. Why do you think? And it's crazy because society tries to demonize masculinity. But what is one of the most paid occupations out there? Sports, right? These NFL basketball players, hockey, baseball, you name it. Some of the wealthiest people alive, apart from Elon Musk and AKA a man, what the Elon Musk, you feel what I'm saying? All this stuff he doing, all this stuff, you feel me? So it's crazy that masculine is being demonized, but at the same time, we can't, we can't look away from the fact that it's one of the most prized possessions that we have, okay? It's crazy because the society will try to demonize it. And at the same time, nature is not going to lie. Men that are masculine get shit done. Apple, Steve Jobs, you feel what I'm saying? His persistence, his that's that's that aggression I'm talking about. His persistence, his drive, his and and when I say men, men are physical, men create, it's not just in a physical sense, right? It's in a mental sense as well. Men have if, if you look throughout society, have invented the algorithm. Algorithm is like one of the most used tools, mathematical tools that we have to this day. Algorithm runs the whole of technology. Invented by a man, an Arab man at that. You feel me? Shout out to my Arabs. You feel me? That's, that's what I am. And I'm proud as fuck of that algorithm, algebra. Just to name a few things. You know what I'm saying? Men are creators. They are creators in the mind. And then that that aggressiveness that I'm talking about, the healthy aggressiveness, this is what makes them bring the idea into physicality. It takes aggression to lift weights. You feel me? It takes aggression to make an idea and turn it into the physical. Because through this aggression, you're going to be persistent. You're going to be uh, chasing the dream. You feel what I'm saying? This is what makes masculinity positive, but they are trying to turn that into negative. You feel what I'm saying? The reason why society wants men to be docile and weak is because men that are docile and weak are not going to argue with anything. <clears throat> They're going to keep their mouth shut, right? And follow what master is, is doing, right? They're, they're not going to revolt. They're gonna be they're gonna be too busy thinking about body positivity and talking about their feelings and how they feel about uh, current uh, global warming and you know what I'm saying misgendering now misgendering pronouns and stuff like that. They're not gonna be worried about the bigger picture, right? They're not gonna be worried about that because they're gonna be too scared. They're gonna be too weak, okay? And this is exactly the plan that that they have in mind. This. This wasn't done by accident, folks. This whole, over the decades, we've seen this whole effeminate type of deal going on. This was not done by accident. This was intelligently done by the powers that be. It is intelligent. It, it was made by design, right? They keep flashing. They keep giving you images of guys in dresses. Guys, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we got Tyler Perry and all that constantly dressing up as women and then backdoor with that with it's okay 
to be weak and it's okay to be body positive, AKA let your body go, never hit the gym, never work on your strength, right? Those things are okay, guys. All right, that's that's done that's done by design. So you're gonna be too weak to even me even making this video is is gonna be labeled as like controversial, right? Me making this this is how bad it's got. This is how bad it's gotten in society. Me just talking about this is gonna be deemed as some kind of you feel me controversial topic when I'm just basically speaking the truth. Okay, if it wasn't for men right being masculine and of course of course it does have his negative sides like i say with everything else sometimes there's necessary evils right like wars i hate them i think we all do but they are necessary right this is just something that comes along with the territory of being masculine right asserting yourself yes it is sometimes in a negative light but it's a necessary evil but like i said for the most part it is positive Okay, aggression, this is the main thing that the powers that be are trying to stifle within men is that aggression that we have. Because like I said, they don't they don't want anyone to challenge. Let me tell y'all something. The people making these uh, rules and stuff, the powers that be, those dudes are masculine as hell. Right? They are masculine. When you hit when you go to the top top, those dudes are well, some of them be on that that funny stuff, right? Some of them be on that funny stuff, but the way they think, the way they they carry out their actions, the way they're determined, the way they're they are masculine, and they're making sure the sheep down here, right, us common folk, they're making sure that we don't revolt against them. They're making sure that we keep our mouth shut so they can do reign supreme. You know what I'm saying? Over us and make these stupid ass laws, make these stupid rules. And every man is going to be just too weak to, to even say anything, right? He's going to be too, he's going to be so pussy whip, right? Because his, probably his chick is more masculine than he is. Because that's another thing with this uh, emasculization, emasculation, is it turns females more masculine, right? So they're too busy being whipped by their old lady for them to even say anything. So if, if, you, if you can't even be a man in your own household, how the hell are you even going to be a man anywhere else, right? Like this whole thing with it's okay to be docile and weak, right? D try try doing that in, in, in overseas right now where they're fighting each other. And you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The, 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 two, the two places, one of them starts with a U and the other starts with a R and they're clashing with each other. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say it on, on here because them folk going to strike my video down. But you think those dudes are are weak and, you know, don't call me that. This is my pronoun. You think they got time for that? Or you think they loading, loading up their case to defend their country, right? So anyway, man, I hope this video helped. You feel me? I hope it got y'all thinking a little bit. Let me know what y'all thought. Like, comment, subscribe.